Hey there guys. If you want to go ahead and set your future on fire, you want to become part of the intellectual property school. Below we have an application to make sure that your mindset is in alliance with our mindset. If you want to build the skills, the skill sets, the things that are in demand where you could create a six figure per year future, go below, fill out the app, and I will see you guys on the inside. So let's get into this video. One of the things that I was paying attention to, at the moment I'm running an experiment and I see other people who are trying to run similar experiments, but they, they cheap out. And one of the things is that you have to understand the standard to rise up to the standard. Cause here's the thing. I did a little analysis this morning. Top 10% of America represents 33 million people of various ages and things. And I was doing this for marketplace research for my targeted audience. So there are tons and tons of people in my targeted audience. And it's my goal to reach them because I can, these people are not going to come down to me. And this, this is one of the things that creates a very large problem for a lot of people. Many, many people are looking for the standard to come down versus doing the things that they need to do to rise up to the standard. And this is a big, big issue because there are people that I would consider financially astute, financially aware, and there are people I would consider not financially astute, not financially aware. And you know, I am really, I shouldn't be confused. I shouldn't be puzzled because there are many things that people do not understand how these entities work. They don't understand the powerness. Like years and years ago, when I was a regular person, I was out there working a regular job, getting paid twice a month or sometimes because I would keep a part-time job. So I would get paid like four times a month, one big check, one small check. And it never occurred to me when I was an average person that I had to come up to the standard. And you wanna know why it never occurred to me? Because at that time in my life, I was completely unaware that there was a standard. I didn't know, I simply don't know. And this is one of the reasons that when I have conversations with people, when I see things online, I understand that these people do not understand that there is a standard. There is no thought process. There is no concept. There is no ramifications because these people are completely, as I used to be, unaware that there's a standard. And the thing is, you've got to rise up to the standard. Like going back, when I was a regular person, a normal person, and just working regular jobs, I was completely oblivious to the fact that it was a standard. And because I didn't know there was a standard, I did not know I had to adjust my behavior to go up to meet the standard. And, you know, I, I, I worked really, really hard. I was a hard worker and hard work without a strategy, without a plan will not make you wealthy. You could work really hard. You could do a really good job for the people you were working really hard for. That has nothing to do with you getting wealthy. That has nothing to do with you even making a lot of money. So this is one of the things. And this is one of the things that I have instituted in my online training business. Now there's a standard. There's things that you got to do before you can even get into the course because there's some things I need to do today. And one of the things that you have to understand and one of the things that you have to observe and one of the things that you have to acknowledge is when you have a standard and you make it known that you have a standard, people will do the work to rise up to the standard. I'll give you an example. Years and years ago, before I started listening to Earl Nightingale lead the field, I was completely unaware of the methodology of the pathways of going up in life. And I listened to Earl Nightingale and that instituted to me that there was a standard. There was things I had to do to meet the standard. There was things I had to do to raise up to the standard. And I began to adjust my behavior 
and I started to rise up to the standard. Like, I'll tell you a little story. Years and years ago, I used to work in Powertel, which was Voice Dream, which is now T-Mobile. I used to sell cell phones. And I was in this process of listening to Earl Nightingale and some other stuff. I was meditating. I was doing a lot of personal self-development stuff. And because I wasn't brought on as a direct hire for voice stream for T-Mobile, you know, which is what it's known today, I was laid off. And because I knew there was a standard, I conducted myself very differently. The guy was like, maybe I can get you two more weeks. And I said, no, I'll go home and I'll figure it out. And I came home and this is one of the things that I did. I was like, I need a better job. How do we get a better job? And once again, I went through this thought process. They're gonna check me out. They're gonna verify my standards. They're gonna verify my references. But are they gonna verify the references of my references? And I really, really thought about it and I said, probably not. So I created my own reference because once again, there's a standard that you have to meet. So I manufactured a standard. And I remember to this day, when they called to check my reference, they asked, two questions. Would you hire him again? Yes. Did you have any problems with him? No. Two questions took me from working a regular job to the highest paid job I had at that time in my life. They brought me on at 38,500 bucks. I will never, never forget this standard because I knew there was a standard. And because I knew there was a standard, I began to change my behaviors, I began to operate, I began to do things to meet that standard. Because once I understood that there was a standard that had to be met, and once I understood I had to change my behavior, I started to meet the standard. And this totally and 100% changed my life. Because right now, I'm running a test, and I will tell my students uh, about this test that I'm running. And one of the things that is happening is I see many people who are trying to run, I'm gonna call it improper test. They're trying to run tests, they're trying to do the same things. And because they don't understand there's a standard, there's a certain thing they have to do, they don't understand that these things are very, very important. They're actually running, in my opinion, meaningless tests. These tests will not yield any facts, will not yield any data, will not yield any results. And once you understand that there's a standard and you govern and alter your behavior to meet that standard, to raise up to that standard, it's a, this is life-changing stuff. This is life-changing stuff. Because once you go ahead and understand that the, once again, let's talk about the 33 million people in the top 10% of the American population income-wise, they're not coming down they're not watering down their standards to come down because this this is one of the things that I consistently see in my arena. I have people who unknowingly don't know there's a standard. They're kind of unaware there's a standard. Their expectations is that high level activities, high level knowledge is going to come down to them with little regard to you must do the work, you must exercise the things that you need to do to raise yourself up to a higher standard where you can begin to exercise greater options in your life. Because this is, for me, this was life altering stuff. It was extremely powerful. It was extremely eye opening to acknowledge and to know there's a standard and there's a standard for everything. There's a standard for dating. There's a standard for making money. There's a standard for starting a business. There's a standard for, there's a standard for everything. And you must understand that the standard isn't coming down to you. It's just not. You must raise yourself up to the standard and you must one, understand exactly what that standard is in terms of making money, what the standard is, the terms of developing audience, the standard of being successful on YouTube, the standard, there's so many standards and there are high level standards that you must do the work to raise yourself up to these high level standards. And this, this is something that I'm doing this video to let you know and make you aware there is a standard that you need to meet there's a standard that you need to raise your activity levels up. There's a standard that you need to raise your thought process to because without accepting the fact 
that there's a standard, you're going to continue to fail. You're going to continue to struggle. You're going to continue to have problems. You're going to continue to be struggling in this situation where you cannot win because you do not understand that there's now a big dedicated standard that you are going to continue to fail over and over and over again because you don't understand the fact that that standard is in place, that the standard must be met, and in some cases the standard must be exceeded for you to win, for you to do the things you want to do in life. And this is one of the reasons that we're instituting a standard in the intellectual property school. Once again, I got some more stuff to do today and I'm gonna set it up. Because one of the things that you have to understand and one of the things that you have to accept is when you go ahead and raise yourself up, you raise your activity levels up, raise your hustle level up, raise all these things up to meet and in better cases exceed the standard, you will be rewarded with some awesome results. Like once again, with the Intellectual Property School, we're instituting a new standard, we're doing some stuff very, very differently to one, make you more successful. Because this is one of the things that I understood from many factors and various aspects of my life, that once I raise my level of activity to meet or exceed the standard, my results were crazy high. My results were crazy good. So if you want to be part of the Intellectual Property School where we can give you the skill sets, the training to create this personal transformation for you to become a six figure earner in the future, go below, fill out the application. You can't get in unless you fill out this application. I have a lot of people who want to challenge me, who want to get into school, and this is something that I'm going to send out an email talking about today. But go ahead, fill out this app, and if your mindset and our mindset are together, then we can go ahead and turn you into a six-figure earner in the future. The app is below. It's in the description box or it will be in the comment section. My name is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you guys in the next video.